Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda and I'm going to show you some stuff that I have bought recently and this is stuff from the past couple of months. I just want to say that I am not in any way, shape or form sponsored by these people. I just wanted to share a couple of things because I do not have an art video ready for this week and it was supposed to be up yesterday so I'm really really sorry about that but we're going to get into the stuff that I have. We're going to go uh, on top down view so that you can see everything clearly and sorry about the lighting situation I'm holding a light Woo! <laughs> because my lighting in my room is pretty bad anyway let's get started all right guys so we are at top down view and I'm going to show you the things um, we're gonna start with books because I have a lot of books that I need to show you um most of them are colour books but I thought I would include them in this haul just because they are an arty thing and I do believe that they're good for artists. So let's start with books. We're going to start with sketching books or sketchbooks rather and the first one that I have for you is this thing here but I've got another one uh, to show you how it comes in the packet. Some of this stuff is months old, some of it is new. I haven't done a haul in so long because I've just been picking up things and um, now I'm showing you them. Anyway, so this is the Raymond Sketching Journal and it's an A5. It's got 80 sheets, 110 GSM and it has a black elasticated band, includes black ribbon page mark. So this is from Raymond Stationery and it was 4 99 I'll try and tell you the prices and where I got them if I remember but if I don't then I'll obviously not tell you that. Um, but it comes in this little plas plastic thing. I hate buying sketchbooks like this because I can't open it and feel the pages to see if I want them but I knew that 110 GSM is just a little bit over cardstock like general cardstock so I knew it was going to be kind of good also sorry about my nails I rushed and decided I couldn't wait any longer and this is the one that, that I am using currently so it has an elastic band like it says sorry about the shadows and stuff guys um, and it has the page mark which I tend to forget to use um, but if you just open it up to wherever you are and just do this then it's like yeah you can just open it up um, the page quality is a bit you know it's good enough when I first got it I decided to go straight in with a watercolour but this is on the like first page so it feels a little bit different from this because this is all shiny in the background um, and uh, ignore the actual drawings themselves guys but these um were just to test to see how much the paper could take so this is watercolor and it does wrinkle a bit but i don't mind that and when i draw on this side of the page it will probably be better um so i've just been doing a couple of pencil sketches in here trying to uh, do as much kind of different mediums as possible i even did a little bit of watercolor in there and normal sketching pen ink um watercolor again or i think this was ink tense and this one here was ink tense and that's colored pencil so um I would recommend these if you really just want a cheap sketchbook that actually looks pretty decent, like it looks like a journal pretty much, um, and you don't want to be scared in case you ruin it, although the £1 ones from the works are pretty good as well. Next up we have this thing and I think, well focus much, um, I think that I have shown this in a haul video, I think I did a quick haul video but I don't know if I posted it or not, I'm going to have to check because one of my haul videos got a lot of views and one of them didn't but basically I bought this a while ago from my uh, Hobbycraft and it's got Hobbycraft stamped here, it's for sketching basically, I don't know how much I paid for it but I'm thinking 5 99 not sure it might have been cheaper than that but anyway it's got this cool ribbon that you can untie and you basically can draw in this craft paper and the craft paper is pretty thick um, and I like this because it's a pretty book but the thing is it's too pretty that I don't want to ruin it so I'm trying to figure out a theme or something that I can do in this I don't know what kind of things I'm gonna do in here please if you have any suggestions comment them below and I'll see if we can uh, fill up this this book because I really do want to display it somewhere and have it so that people can have us have a look through and um, 
I want to be proud of it, so that is one problem of buying really cute sketchbooks. Is well, this is a scrapbook. Um, is the fact that you don't want to ruin it, so you just don't do anything in it. And I've got a few sketchbooks like that that are just sitting on my shelf, waiting to be filled. So I'm gonna definitely start doing themes and. Not so much as themes as in like I'm going to just draw still life in this book where I'm just going to do figures but like themes as in um, what medium I'm going to use and like I'm actually going to finish the full drawing. Sorry, I keep on picking at the glue on my nail. Um, so yeah, this is from Hobbycraft and they have quite a few of these still in if you are in the UK and you want to get yourself to Hobbycraft. Honestly, Hobbycraft is like so expensive but at the same time it's the closest arts and crafts store to me so I shop there quite a lot but there is really cute ones and I resisted myself today. I went into an art shop today and didn't buy anything. Go me. Alright, this isn't exactly <laughs> exciting or uh, art thing but I just thought I would show you them. These are from Tesco and they were like a pound or one pound fifty or something and you get two in each and I buy these little packets from tes uh, Tesco's all the time and they come with really cool paper, um, bigger line than usual but I love these for just writing down notes in and sketching and stuff. I don't usually sketch in them, I just write notes but they are handy for that and they come in this handy little plastic bag so that they don't get ruined until you get to them. And to go on the theme of books that are not for art, this is a um, lined notebook with inner pocket and it is an, an actual notebook so but it's like so, it's obviously in the theme of this but it's so like good quality that it's just unbelievably amazing. <laughs> Um, so I will be writing notes in this and it has a pocket as well. These are good for like projects that you want to do at school but this was this is just amazing. I love it and the, the cover is thick. It's like card and it's a really pretty design so that's why I bought that one and I decided to include it in this haul. Now we're going to go on to colour books and the first few just came in the mail yesterday. So I am going to show you those two and these feel much higher quality than the ones that I have been buying. I've been buying ones at like $5.99, $1.99, um, uh, I mean $9.99 in value and these ones were about 13 So the quality of them feels good and I just want to say that this Jasmine Beckett Grith, Grith? Girl is an amazing artist and I want, I think people should buy books that are more from artists than TV shows. I mean I know that the people that are drawing the, the things from the TV shows are artists as well but I think that you should support artists within like the community that are um, doing their original artwork such as Jasmine here and she uh, has done loads of amazing illustrations from her acrylic paintings and uh, they're all Halloween themed which is really cool so I just wanted to show you those and that's the first piece that I have done. If you want me to do a speed colouring please comment below and I will do one of a speed colouring in piece um, if you want me to and yeah so I got Halloween by Jasmine Beckett Gr I don't know how to say that word but anyway, that's that's one of them I can go. And it says a spine a spine tingling fantasy art adventure, and it tells you a bit about her paintings and shows you some cool things. And it's just a really nice book. Let's see. Right, it's just craft paper at the back. Pretty cool. And the next one I've got is uh, the same kind of feeling. It's like I don't know. It's, feels so good. Anyway, this is the, sorry about my hands, I was shopping today and got into the next section at Boots. Anyway, uh, the Curiosity Shop uh, colouring book and I always want to say shop when I say that because that's the way that we pronounce it. Anyway, um, a magical and mad exploration of the most amusing and unexpected assemblage and no novelties and oddities <laughs> illustrated by Chris Price. And this book is pretty cool because it's like really artistic and I love the art and I actually regret 
starting to colour in it. So it opens like this, which is strange, and there's a lot of illustrations in here, but this is the kind of book where I don't want to colour in because I'm just going to ruin it. But that's uh, basically the pages that I've done, but here's one that I haven't done, and it's just amazingness. So I might keep this just for pictures of ink drawings, ink inspiration, because it gives you a lot of ways on how to do ink. There's dots, crotch, cross hatching, just blocking in, you know, a lot of inky doodleness, which is cool. This video has already been 10 minutes long. So I'm going to rifle through the rest of the um, colour books. So this is one that I got recently as well. It's Kirby Rosine's second book and it's Imagimorphia. Um, I loved his first book, which is here, just so I could show you it. It's the exact same size. It's pretty much the same concept. It's got an animal and then a bunch of um, doodles at, coming out of the animal. Um, so I have done quite a lot in this one. It's all colourful. Uh, not really. <laughs> just the backgrounds and stuff. And um, this one's pretty much the same, although I like this one better because the things in it are a lot more, like, there's not as much and they're not as much double sided pages either. So love this one. I also got The Magical Journey by Lizzie Mary Cullen and this is also her second book. Haven't done much in this one. I wanna look up the proper places that she's been to um, so that I can do the proper colors like I have been doing in her first book, which is A Magical City. So that's A Magical City and um, I love both of these books. In fact, A Magical City was the, the Magical City was the first book that I thought was my favorite. Uh, and then I changed to Animorphia. Next one is Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, magical characters and places, colour in book, and I think it's mainly Sherlock Holmes. I don't even know if that's Sherlock Holmes, by the way. I think I got this mainly because there was a lot of faces in here, and that's good to practice shading with for faces, and it was just a little bit different than what you usually get in colour books, which is just flowers and more flowers. I'm going to show you these in bulk now. So this is Harry Potter Magical Creatures and Harry Potter Magical Places and Characters. And I also have the original Harry Potter one, but this isn't new. Um, so these two I got because they were, again, different. And they also come with pictures of the actual thing that you want to colour. So obviously this doesn't match that, but it does somewhere. Um, <laughs> somewhere it matches it there's the matching one for this one uh, so you can get the proper colors for them and that's what I like to do with the real books is to um, do the proper colors this one's magical creatures it's not as fantastical in my opinion as the places one but I prefer buildings and characters rather than um, weird creatures and stuff. Getting there, this is the message from the Fairies Clowning Book and this is by Doreen Virtue, illustrations by Norma J. Byrne L. I think that's how you say that up there. Um, and basically this is just, it's got a little story or something about the actual fairy and then you paint, uh, colour in the fairy and I've did a couple of things in here. I got it at the same time as getting my Prismacolor pencils. So I've did a lot of bad ones in here. Um, but yeah, I like the fairy one. Okay, and these two do not have their original covers on them. We've got Secret Garden, which I actually have another one of these in my bookshelf, but I meant to get Enchanted Forest and picked up Secret Garden by accident. Um, I already have Enchanted Forest as well, but I ruined that one, so I wanted a different one and got Secret Garden by accident. So now I have two of those. I think I've already started colouring in, in that one as well. And this is Joanna Basford's new one. Sorry, that's by Joanna Basford as well. This is Joanna Basford's new one and this is her magical jungle. I have Lost Ocean, Secret Garden and Enchanted Forest. And now I have Magical Jungle. And to be honest, I'm not too keen on this one. They are all the same. This one's a little bit more open. There's not as much details in this one and it's just all flowers and stuff i mean her art is beautiful and i love the way that she does it but i'm just not inspired to color in this sort of thing so i probably will eventually but not now 
Okay, and you will be happy to know that that's all of the book things. Um, next up, we're gonna go for pencils, and like I mentioned before, I got these Prisma colours, and I also have a video of me uh, drawing Daily Gracie from the Sims community in these Prisma colours, and they are quite cool. They come in a handy dandy um, tin. I was told not to get these because of the breakage issues, but. When I'm told not to do something, I have to see for myself. Sorry about the glare there, guys. Um, so I decided to pick them up and none of them have broken. The ones that are really small are just because I have used them, basically. Um, especially this one. See, but the problem with these is that I'm in the UK, so if I want to get replacements of these, I would have to buy the full new set and I just don't think it's worth it because I don't want to pay three pounds for a pencil but you get this cool leaflet that tells you all about the other sets that you can get and gives you a tutorial on how to draw a face in these colours also tells you the numbers of the colours and just tells you a little bit more about Prismacolor itself so they're pretty cool I will probably just keep these in my possession until they until I die pretty much in my last video I showed you this bad boy and this is the Karen Dash water brush and uh, last time this thing was not in it was down to here and that's because you can actually take this out and um, use it <laughs> to put more water in. So I got the three ones that I wanted um, to buy which were the Pentel, Pentel brush pens, uh, water brush ones and they are really good. I like these. I like this one but I like these because of the tips and I think these are much better quality than the Derwent ones. Pencil cases. Okay so I showed you a couple of videos ago I had a what's in my pencil case video and it was similar to this one. It was black and I said that I didn't know where I got it and they don't sell them anymore but it's from WH Smith and they do sell them and this is my planner pencil case so I've got all my planning supplies in here and I have bought these pens recently as well but they're just cheap like ink joy pens and cheap Asda pens and stuff so I'm not going to show you those but the pencil case itself really nice and while I was getting that one I also got this one which was duck from WH Smith as well and it says smiley world on it and it's got loads of smiles and this is the perfect solution to me not stuffing my pencil case full of junk that I don't need or use so I've stuffed it full of junk that I do use every day or I use at least on a regular basis I like to have an array of colours to choose from when I'm sketching in the Prismacolor and I have a couple of darker pencils here although I think I might take them out and never sketch with dark pencils again because they are really really dirty so I might take these out and put other things in there and I've got a ruler just in case a sharpener and and a, pen, uh, a rubber. Um, all this thing came with stuff, but it was coloured pencils and like um, really cheap stuff that I didn't want to keep in there. And then in this side, I have all my inking supplies and uh, you know other stuff, just stuff that I use. Um, I don't use these two as much, that's why they're in the back, but I might use them. And another dark pencil here, and then I've got an eraser, a graphite mechanical pencil, another mechanical pencil, but this is a clutch pencil, and then blending stumps, which I might also take out of there because I don't want to use graphite anymore, um, unless they're mechanical. And um, white gel pen, pencil pocket brush pen, this Japanese one, uh, this uh, fine liner that I might need to take out because it doesn't work properly and then these microns which I need, need to take out and then a uh, Pigma brush pen and a Zig Mancat 05, I don't know how to say that either. Anyway, um, so that's all, of, this is my everyday pencil case now and that goes along with me with my new sketchbook. This thing is really dirty, but it's a General's Art um, pencil case and it holds 120, uh, sorry, Global Art 
and it holds 120 pencils in it and I bought this from Pullingers for a cheaper price than it is on Amazon which is like £35 but I got it for £25 and it keeps all of your coloured pencils or your pencils whatever you want in a nice neat order. I was doing the whole bunching them up like this but I hated trying to find whatever I was looking for and then trying to find the colour it is here they are organised I can just flip back into to find the pencil that I need take it out put it back in when I'm done and I find that that system works a lot for me other people might not but I do I want to get a couple more of these for my luminance and my ink tense pencils um, my mum says however that she can make me one so she doesn't know why I spent 25 pounds on one so up to my mother she's going to make me one I'm going to ask her to film it or something so that we can have a DIY with Mother Dearest. Also, I did buy a couple of new pencils and basically I just got a couple of new colours and illuminants to treat myself with instead of a skin tone because that's usually what I usually buy. And I topped up on all my skin tone colours and a couple of my uh, Faber-Castell as well. Gosh, this video is long, but this is my gouache. <laughs> I should have said gouache, this video is long. Um, so I'm really sorry about the length of this video, but I seem to have had a lot more stuff than I thought. Anyway, um, I bought a set of gouache and this was only for £3.99 in my Raymond stationery store. And um, obviously they did not come like this. I literally just put these in here to test them out. When I get a more expensive gouache set, I will probably buy a actual palette for them and put them in nicely. I'll show you the tubes that they came in though. These tubes. So these are Royal and Landnickel Essentials gouache and this is the Persian blue or Persian blue or however you want to say that. Anyway, um, so yeah, they came in like that and I just took them out and put um, those in there so that I could have them dried up and try them. They are pretty good quality considering they are only 3 dollars um, and I got two brushes with it as well. Don't know where the brushes are, they were terrible, don't use them. Alright guys, we are nearly there but uh, we've got a couple more items to go. If you've made it this far, uh, go down in the comments and pat yourself on the back and also tell me what kind of art supplies you have been buying recently and loving. Probably a lot of inking stuff, right? Because of Inktober. Anyway, this is the De La Rene Graduate Acrylic Paints and I got them in a set. I think there was 12 or 14, maybe 15 in a set. And this is just the yellow ochre just to show you. Uh, it came in a box. But I got them to try out and I've been loving them for backgrounds and stuff. I regret buying them because they are not as good as the Americana that I'm going to show you. Um, but yeah, so these are, um, they're not as good. That's why I'm not showing you them all. So these are the Amer Americana craft paints that I got and I also got Crafters Acrylic by Deco Art. Americana is by Deco Art as well. So um, I got those because that's all they sell in the place that I am at but I think that we get ripped off slightly because they don't have as much colours in Americana as they do in other stores that I've seen that you can get around the world in my place and they also are like a pound cheaper in other places than they are in ours but anyway I got a Fawn Antique Gold um, so I'll show you the colours like that because th that's the true representation of them. Um, Fawn Antique Gold, I got a couple of reds actually, I don't know where the other red is. And I got Navy Blue in the Crafters Acrylic. And I also got Dark Chocolate and I got Dark Turquoise. And I was going to get White and Black but I just was wanting to spend a certain amount of money and I decided to get the colours that I don't have as much as... I do have so yeah okay we are on to brushes now and I got this at the same time as getting my gouache um the end of it is really sticky and the blue is coming off like that shouldn't be happening so don't get it really sorry about the glue on my fingers as well anyway this is a Royal and Lanical soft grip SG250 in the size 4 and I just got this for acrylic and um, 
using in my colour books because it was quite fine. Still haven't found the perfect fine brush, one that holds a lot of paint and water but is still super fine. Um, tell me where that's at because that's what I would like. Also this one which is a System 3 De La Rene Filbert number 8 and I haven't even used this one yet. I like it that much that I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I need to get a brush cleaner basically because all my brushes are rank. And the last thing is this roll of paint brushes that I got. Uh, these are, is that what you call them? Paint brushes? That sounds a bit weird. I don't know why. Anyway, these are the Hobbycraft Band Art 12 Nylon Brushes. And I got them in a sale, so they were $5.99 for 12 brushes. And it does come with a lid, but I've lost the lid because I don't actually keep them in this thing anymore. I just put them back in here for the video. But they come in this cute little canvas thing. I don't know what I'm going to use this canvas thing for. Um, but they are 12 brushes that look like this. And they come in 12 flat and round to 2 flat and round. But the rounds are really weird because they are rounded instead of like super, super fine tip. Like they're strange. Anyway, I've just been using these for acrylic paintings, which I've only did one of. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these brushes. Honestly, I don't think I will ever use them again unless unless I really need to do a really big background or something. Um, because these are the biggest brushes that I own apart from this one, which I paint these backgrounds for with. Uh, this is just a actual like, you know, paint the walls brush. Okay, so that is absolutely everything that I have bought in the past couple of months. I hope that you enjoyed. I'll try and do these a little bit more frequently so that you don't have to have me, you sitting through like 20 minutes of me talking about products that I've recently bought. But um, I won't spend a lot of money on art supplies in the same week. So yes anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up share it and comment below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys never know how to weave <laughs>